Hi everyone, we are deep into the holiday season and I'm going to be making um, a little winter artwork and it's going to be a snowman and I have a wooden plaque here that I got at, I believe it was Walmart or you can get it at um, any of the craft stores probably and it's just an inexpensive piece of wood and it's a little plaque. And what I'm going to be making is a snowman, kind of a collage. So I've thought about parts of it, but I haven't figured out the whole thing. So we'll kind of figure it out together. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the background kind of like a frosty, a frosty blue. I have um, a Martha Stewart pearl and a satin color um, in this light blue. And I also have a similar blue from her that's um, a glitter paint. So I'm kind of going to work all of those. And I'm going to kind of work them all together onto the wood. And just paint the whole thing as the background. And you may want to do two coats. You don't necessarily want it to be solid, but you want it covered. You don't really want the wood, per se, showing through. Okay. And now um, I have a little bit of water in a cup, and I'm going to dip my brush into there. And I'm going to take this cobalt blue that I have, and I want it to be good and watery. So I'm going to put some in the middle with the other colors. Is fine. I haven't cleaned my brush get it good and watery and then I'm going to pick up a little of the other and I just kind of want it to have a light streak going through with the with the darker just to kind of give it a little bit of a different different shades and a little bit of depth maybe okay and then I'm going to take the blue um, I still have some of the other colors on my brush and I'm going to take it and go around the edges because I would like the edges to be a little bit darker to kind of offset it and, and frame it. Okay. And what I am going to do is just work a little bit of the darker just around all of the edges as well. That's going to be our background. We'll let that dry and then we will work on, on the next layer of what we're trying to do. Okay, we are back and our plaque is dry. And I'm going to make a stencil. And all you're going to need is a piece of contact paper. And since we're making a snowman and working with snowflakes, I, here's my paper punch. And I'm going to just punch right into the contact paper. Oops. And there is a stencil. I'm not even taking the backing off or anything like that. You could do that and, and stick it, but I don't have any desire to do that. And what I'm going for here is just a little bit of background. And I'm going to use just a plain white acrylic paint. I have a stencil brush. I have a paper towel. And I don't know if you've ever stenciled before, but put a little on your brush. And what you want to do is get most of it off. Now, I'm not looking to do anything perfect here. I'm kind of going for a look and what I'm doing is I'm going to just pounce it, pounce it, pounce it and there's our snowflake. It isn't perfect. I don't care because what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a little glitter on top of it for it to stick right to right to the paint. Oops. And that's what happens sometimes. So quick Make it wet, get it off, and we'll we'll be touching that stuff up later, so don't sweat it. Um, so get a little bit of paint on there. You don't want to touch the other one, so you might want to go over here, and you can make it as light or as dark as you want. Okay, and I'm going to just shake off the glitter. I need the excess. And it's going to stick here and there anyhow. But there it is. I don't know if you can see that it's a little glittery and a lot of this other stuff will kind of, it's kind of static clingy right now and it'll come off over time. And then you're just going to put that aside to dry and then you can brush the rest off if you want 
and you can certainly always leave it there too, doesn't matter. Once this is dry, I have brushed off any of the excess glitter, some still remains and it doesn't bother me. Um, I'm taking a piece of all-purpose paper, you know, typing paper, copy paper, whatever, computer paper, and my hole punch, and I've gone around and taken a bunch of of snowflakes. I've punched out a bunch of snowflakes. Um, I did it on another sheet before this. And I have a bunch of snowflakes here and if I need more um, I will make more. And with the snowflakes what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a snowman. I have some Mod Podge and all I'm going to do is take a brush put it in there. Um, kind of try to to have an idea of where I want everything to fall just size wise. So I'm going to have the bottom here and maybe the top of the head here. And I'm going to start at the bottom. And all I'm going to do is layer the snowflakes. So I'm going to put some Mod Podge down. And I'm going to just start taking snowflakes. And I'm going to lay them down in the Mod Podge and the first thing I'm going to kind of try to do is kind of come up with an outline and this is going to take some patience so so you know um, I'm going to come out with an outline of the bottom and I'm going to get a layer down <clears throat> and periodically I'm just going to add a little more Mod Podge on here and remember it dries clear and I'm gonna just keep doing that and as you can see it's starting to take shape a little bit now I'm going to make it solid to where you don't see any of the blue coming through in between and then I'm gonna start working on the next layer which will be a little bit smaller and then I'll do the top layer which will be smaller again Okay, I'm pretty happy with the first layer um, of, well, with the bottom part. And the only thing is that the Mod Podge does go on white, but it dries clear. So after you get that one done, start working on the other two in the same exact way. Um, I like to have each, each next um, body segment be a little bit smaller than the one before. I've gotten the second part of it done, the second body segment. I'm going to work on the third. And I do have it lowered down on the on the um, plaque because I was planning on doing a hat and stuff like that as well. The snowman has, has dried and some of this will clear up even a little bit more. And now we're, we're back to finish it. And what I've done is I've cut pieces um, to to decorate them and complete them and all I've used was construction paper and I cut pieces here's the top hat and I did a red like a red ribbon around it like a sash around it and the bottom piece so I'll place that on here I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and I'll put down the sash actually And you kind of want to get things where you want it before you start gluing. And then I have um, just some black pieces of paper. And I did the eyes. And then I did the black for the mouth also. Those are a little bit smaller. And then I took an orange piece, did a triangle for the nose. Um, I had some more black coal pieces for down the front and what I did with the, I did a moon because I kind of with the blue it makes me think it's a night scene got the moon up here and then I did some brown pieces for the arms and then you have it all placed so now what you're going to do is you're going to take your Mod Podge again and your paintbrush and you're gonna start putting down the pieces like the hat I'm gonna put down the top part first and I'm just gonna put some right on the wood and 
and put the hat down on there and then go over it. Then I'll do the sash part. Make sure there's enough down here. And then go over it. And then do the same with the next the next piece. And there it is, and we're going to let it dry, and then I'll put another coat of Mod Podge over the whole thing just to make sure everything's good and stuck in place. Here is the final collage of the snowman. Everything is dry. Um, all the snowflakes and everything are dry, and I did a coat of Mod Podge over the entire thing, and I don't know. I think it looks kind of cute kind of festive for the holiday and it doesn't have to be just for Christmas because it's just a snowy scene so I hope you give it a try remember to rate comment and subscribe happy crafting happy holidays and we will see you next time thank you for watching <laughs>